All right, guys, welcome back to another quick video for me. This time I'm gonna be showing how to use a clamp meter to measure the amperage of a flashlight. So uh, this is called a clamp meter, this guy right here. And if you look at it and there's, you know, you can look at it if you wanna get the code of the one I'm using. This is an inexpensive one. It's not like a Fluke. Fluke is a name brand, very expensive, but this one works great for me. And you gotta have one that does DC. That's, that's the important thing, not just AC. A lot of these on the market only do AC. So change it to 60 amps, which is the smallest it will read in amperage. You can see down here it says DC. You can also see it's not calibrated right now. You can see that it's off of zero. So you run a lead and, and hopefully a high gauge lead through this loop right here. That's what you do. You run through there, then you complete the circuit on your flashlight. So let me kind of get, so I want to keep this on screen and I want to show you, let's see if I can do my best here. I'm going to complete the circuit by pressing, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to press this on here. Ooh, this is fiddly, but I'll get this. And then, so let's get this on here with this finger. And you gotta be really careful when you do this stuff not to accidentally uh, cross, uh, you know, short leads and stuff like that. So once I get this on here, and I wanna try and do it with one hand. Hang on, give me a sec. And there we go made contact i'm holding it great so i've completed the lead and you can see it's not zeroed so now on this particular meter you press and hold the z button now people might argue hey there's parasitic draw because you complete the circuit but you zeroed it out to zero yeah well the parasitic draw is very low probably even not measurable about by the accuracy of this of this meter here notice also it's varying uh, that's because this is induction. That's how it reads it. So it's going to vary. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now, I know that the way I have this spy set at the second to highest mode. Well, let's go to the highest mode. Well, the second highest mode. Second highest mode is one amp. Now, I'm reading about 0.4 amps over here. The reason why is because this is not running 4.2 volts. This is running 8.4, right? It's two batteries in series. So remember watts equals volts times amps. So imagine this is going to be half. Okay. So I'm reading, you know, 0.4, which would be, if you double it, it's 0.8. So that's close to the amp I'm supposed to be getting here. And if I go to 3.3 amps, the highest mode, you can see that I'm reading about 1.6. Okay. So there you go. That's about half of 3.3. So this is working reasonably well. So don't expect like scientific quality accuracy, especially for a meter like this and the janky way I'm doing it. But I wanted to show you that this is the way you can measure draw on a flashlight where you don't know what the modes are. Okay. Now, as a bonus here, I'm going to do one more flashlight. So, and the reason why I even thought to make this video was because of the fact that I wanted to measure this flashlight. I didn't know what this flashlight's amperage was at the highest uh, amount. So I am going to pop it into my vise to hold onto it tightly. And I am going to do the same one, and this will be a surprise to me because I have not done this yet. Okay, so let's complete the circuit. Okay, complete the circuit. And let's see what I'm reading here. Now, whatever I'm reading, since I'm in series, so I'm reading, uh, you know, 0.35. So I would infer that this is under an amp, about an amp or under. Remember, because I have to double it. So that would get about 0.7. And there's probably a little loss is what I was thinking. So anyways, this is probably somewhere between 750 milliamp to one amp at the highest. Now, if you're doing this kind of situation with the clamp meter, on a regular single um, battery light, you can just basically read it straight away, okay? So I, I complicated it by using a light with a side-by-side -side in series. Uh, if it's in parallel, also that acts as a single cell. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. And uh, yeah, go ahead and measure your amperage on your own flashlight. Peace.